Hip impingement and hip labral tears are common causes of hip and groin pain and are often the result of repetitive use from crouching sports or trauma. Today, we are visiting Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Dr. Carlson, a partner with Chippewa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, is in the forefront of using a newer procedure called hip arthroscopy, which allows minimally invasive access to a joint and treatments to problems never addressed before. Using hip arthroscopy, Dr. Carlson is able to repair tissue without dislocating the hip and without replacing it. Hip arthroscopy is where a surgeon takes a camera on the end of a long wand, which we call a scope, and through a small poke hole incision in your skin, delivers that scope into a joint. In this particular case, we're talking about hip arthroscopy, where that scope would be put in the hip joint. The hip joint first has to be dislocated or the ball and socket pulled apart. When that's pulled apart, we can access the joint and look around and do the work we're talking about doing. Um, once inside the joint, through other portals, we call them, those poke holes that we use to access the joint, we can use other instruments, again on the end of a long wand, to perform the work inside the joint. Things like repairing uh, the cartilage rim of the socket, called the labrum, fixing cartilage defects or problems on the head of the ball or the lining of the socket, um, repairing tissue around the hip, such as ligaments or capsule, um, repairing tendons that attach to the, uh, the hip or releasing them if need be, depending on the particular problem. Dr. Carlson's goal is to eliminate the segment of untreated patients or patients with delayed treatment who have curable hip pathology, educating potential patients and their providers that these symptoms are not things they need to live with or that they are not from their back or groin pools or early arthritis. Few orthopedic surgeons are operating on hips through a scope because it is a newer and technically difficult surgery. Therefore, certain diagnoses may be missed by physicians not familiar with these newer treatment options. Patients I see with hip joint pain that can be fixed and not just replaced can range from their mid-teens or younger teens to 50, 60 years old. In the past, patients who had labral tears in their hip we're told that they may have some pre-arthritis or an early arthritic problem. They may be told that they have, were just prone to frequent groin pulls in the sport of their choice. And um, taking some time away from their sport, they may sometimes be able to return to the sport with just continued pain. And fortunately now, with our knowledge of um, the concept of labral tears and our ability to treat that problem, we can take people who are otherwise just waiting 20 years to undergo a hip replacement um, or just feeling that they can't ever participate in that activity because they'll just keep getting groin pulls. We can take that person, we can make them better, we can fix their problem, we can bring them back to their sport, allow them to continue to develop as, as an athlete or as a worker or whatever particular uh, activity they're trying to do where the hip is affecting them. Chippewa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine has been committed to the healthcare needs of patients in western Wisconsin for over 45 years. Their success and reputation as an outstanding orthopedic clinic can be attributed to the teamwork of their friendly, knowledgeable physicians and staff. Here at Chippewa Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we have 12 partners, um, orthopedics, neurosurgery, non-operative spine, and foot and ankle. We really pride ourselves in listening closely to the patients and hearing what they're saying, spending a lot of time engaging in the conversation what is really bothering that person. We also really pride ourselves in um, excellent, skilled surgical management of patients who um, have come to us and have entrusted their bodies to us and entrusted their futures to us. At Chippewa Valley Orthopedics, we have a highly skilled bunch of people. We have people who are dedicated to our patients from the moment they walk in the door and check in at the front desk to the x-ray technicians that we have on site here, to the MRI technicians that will take advanced imaging for them, to us as um, surgeons and our personal uh, physician's assistants and medical assistants that help them through their care, their uh, not just their visit, but through their entire experience, whether it be a hip problem that needs some physical therapy and they'll see us several visits in a row, through um, coordinating their surgical care, through their post-operative care. The people that I work with every day, I believe, add so much more value to my patients as well and gives them that level of comfort that 
we really care about them and we're doing the same things that they're doing and we're trying to bring them back to that competitive uh, level, whether it be sport or just life. Today, we will be witnessing Dr. Carlson help a 27-year-old man who was a pitcher for a collegiate and regional baseball team. The patient eventually quit due to hip and groin pain. After meeting with the patient, Dr. Carlson determined that his difficulties had all been related to painful hip impingement. It was incredibly important for me to meet with a doctor that understood sports and athletics and kind of just how I wanted to continue that lifestyle instead of just kind of shutting it down. So meeting with someone like Dr. Carlson was incredibly important to me because he understood how I still wanted to be active after a surgery and still wanted to maintain my daily lifestyle. With a socket that was too deep and a femoral neck that was too thick, that hip impingement had led to tearing of his hip labrum. Since he did not receive proper diagnosis or treatment of this problem until several years later, and after trying to play through the pain for many years, his labrum was torn so extensively that it was irreparable. Dr. Carlson and his staff have seen this patient back in the clinic since his surgery, and he is feeling much better after two weeks than he had for several years prior. So it's been seven months since my surgery, and I'm continuing to work through athletic movements, getting more into lifting. I've been able to run, something I never thought I was gonna be able to do again, doing a lot of biking and just overall very limited pain, any movement, it's been good. Just the cold weather has been the only thing that's really been a, a downer on it. While visiting with Dr. Carlson, we learned that he grew up skiing and continues to ski competitively across the country and also enjoys hunting, fishing, and hiking. He is passionate that his patients' goals are his goals. Whether it is getting them back to playing with their kids, working aggressively, or competing in sports, his patients are more active and enjoy their lives. When I see those people so happy with themselves, so happy with their decision to have this fixed or to go through this process, as scary as it sometimes is, if you don't know what's on the other side, I, 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 it's so satisfying for me.